Hey guys, in this particular video, looking at how it would have looked had Cell absorbed Androids 19 and 20, it's a bit more of an in-depth than the usual let's just assume that either the Dragon Ball Heroes game or the anime will give this character this random transformation just because, and rather more interesting notes about the transformations themselves. So of course, we're all aware that Cell's design is to absorb Androids 17 and 18 to become his final, <coughs> sorry, perfect form. But why doesn't he care to absorb 19 or 20? Is it just not in his design? Well, of course, story-wise, it's mainly due to the fact that 19 is apparently weak and 20 is, of course, Dr. Gero himself, or Dr. Gero himself, so it would be counterproductive to have Gero absorbed by his own creation, right? Surely he'd just rather be killed by Android 17's kick. Well, behind the scenes, the introduction of Androids 19 and 20 were actually intended to be the final bad guys of that particular arc. Toriyama had drawn up 19 and 20 and thought that they were fine the way that they were. But it was Toriyama's former editor, Torishima, that actually called him up and basically laughed in his face about the old geezer and Afati being the main villains of the arc. So Toriyama, for some reason, bearing in mind that Torishima wasn't actually his editor anymore, decided to listen to Torishima and go back to the drawing board and pop up these youthful couple of androids in 17 and 18. To which Torishima decided to make fun of AGAIN when calling up Toriyama and referring to them as brats. So of course, Toriyama then decided to introduce Cell, which originally was intended to not transform at all and just stay in his bug-like imperfect form. Typically, as luck would have it, Toriyama's then current editor, and I'm hoping I'm pronouncing this right, but Yu Kondo didn't like Cell at all. So Toriyama drew up second form cell, who Kondo still didn't like, saying he looked stupid, which led to the design of perfect cell. Toriyama wanted second form cell to play a larger role in the series, but of course this was not meant to be, as we've all seen. So you can see this interview for yourselves, where all of this started in an excerpt from the Shenlong Times number 2. You can find a digital version written up on Konzenshu, which is obviously of course already translated, and you can read all this for yourself back if you'd like to. I'll leave a link in the description section below. So, the reason I bring all of this up is that if we look at Toriyama's concept art for Cell featured in Daisenshu 4, there's a lot of interesting looking things going on design-wise. Visibly in the top left corner of the design sheet, it seems what appears to be a skinny, ugly, anthropomorphic version of Imperfect Cell, which of course has a face and similar build to that of Android 20, or Dr. Jero. I mean, he looks like a skinny lizard, doesn't he? So, you know, skinny, wrinkly lizard with big lips. And near to the bottom, if you look down there, there appears to be a fat version of Cell, reminiscent of the scene where he blows himself up against Gohan, but also if you look carefully, it also looks a little bit like Android 19, with the puffy cheeks and that sort of build. Now, knowing the process of design that Toriyama went through as explained in the Shenlong Times 2 excerpt, it's incredibly doubtful that this was actually the intention behind the drawings, as it seems with Cell's introduction, and then with Cell's transformations, it was more of an excuse to get rid of 17 and 18, whom had just been introduced at the time. But we can't deny the similarities, I mean, what on earth would happen to Cell for him to transform to look like that in these particular situations? Would 17 really turn him fat, or would 17 really make him skinnier with lips like that? I mean, it could do realistically, I mean, there's no reason why it should make him bulkier when he absorbed Android 17, except for the sheer volume of weight that he absorbed. With 18 making him look like perfect form Cell generally, I always like to assume that that was because 18 was pretty and therefore it was supposed to make him look more handsome. But with this, it doesn't make sense that they would get fat unless Cell was just storing them in his upper body, in his face. Maybe he was keeping Android 17's feet in his cheeks or something for a day when he had no food. So whilst it isn't likely to be the case that they are actually intentionally designed to look that way, with Dragon Ball Heroes likely to do some form of spin in the future where Cell will absorb some of their androids and have a different look entirely, seeing as we've already pretty much seen this happen, and with many different versions of Cell being controlled by like Mira and Toa, etc., or Cell X, for instance, in Dragon Ball Online, it would be a very interesting situation to see them travel to an alternate history where Cell had actually absorbed 19 and 20. And if it were to be the case, I think that they'd look something like the designs that Toriyama had offered in his concept sketches, which would look roughly along the lines of what you're seeing in the video currently, and most likely in the thumbnail. But anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you'd like to see more of these Transformations We'd Like to See series, subscribe, leave a like, and comment down below who you'd like to see, or what transformation you'd like to see them get, and I'll do videos around the best suggestions. But anyway, until next time guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!